the Dubai World Islands Project. Construction of the Dubai World Islands Project first began 18 years ago. The project consists of a man-made archipelago consisting of 300 man-made islands that form an image of the world. Since commencement in 2000, the project has been plagued with claims that the artificial islands were sinking into the sea, in addition to financial challenges caused by a depressed real estate market after the economic crisis of 2018. 60% of the islands were sold to private contractors in 2008, but development on the most of the islands has not started. The artificial islands were created by dredging sand from the Gulf and transporting it to the designated spot with several million tons of rocks used to keep it in place. The 300 islands in the World Islands range in size from 250,000 to 900,000 square feet. The entire collection covers some 5.4 miles across. The most exciting World Islands development is without doubt the Anantara World Islands, which opened in February this year and sits in the South American region of the islands. The resort's 70 accommodations include suites, beach villas and pool villas, all of which feature an abundance of outdoor space in the form of either a private balcony, deck or terrace. There's a host of amenities too, including a Thailand-inspired spa, an open-air cinema and a floating lounge. Dining options are varied too with multiple restaurants and bars spread across the resort. And currently, being the only open resort on the whole archipelago affords Anantara an unrivaled sense of privacy and seclusion with views over the main city of Dubai. Another development is the heart of Europe. It will see a small number of the islands in the world islands transformed to replicate the continent of Europe, to the extent that Weather conditions including rain and snow have been created in some areas. The Heart of Europe project includes the building of a series of luxury hotels, private mansions and floating villas, each of which is designed to transport guests to different European destinations, including Monaco, Venice, Sweden and Germany. While much of the ambitious project is still under development, the group is inviting potential investors to register their interest. And that is all that we have for you on the Dubai World Islands project. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe so that you don't have to miss out on any of our upcoming videos on the building and construction industry around the world.